Hi, we are asked to find the values of x for the logarithmic equation given to us. So we have that log x minus 8 all enclosed in a bracket squared in base 10 is equal to 2 minus log x plus 1 all enclosed in a bracket squared in base 10. Now recall that since the log is in base 10, we have that log 100 to base 10 is equal to 2. So we replace 2 by 100 to base 10. So therefore we have that log x minus 8 all squared or in base 10 will be equal to log 100 in base 10 minus log x plus 1 all squared or in base 10. Now looking at the equation, at the right hand side we can apply the subtraction law of probability. So the equation becomes log 100 divided by x plus 1 all squared or in base 10 and we bring down our left hand side. Now since the bases are the same, so we have it that x minus 8 all squared is equal to 100 divided by x plus 1 all squared. So we can express 100 in parts of base 10. So we have that the equation becomes x minus 8 all squared is equal to 10 divided by x plus 1 all squared. Now, square here can cancel out square, or you can take the root of both sides. So we have it that this becomes x minus 8 equal to 10 divided by x plus 1. So at this point, we can cross multiply. So we have that x minus 8 multiplied by x plus 1 equal to 10. So x times x is x squared. x times 1 is x. Minus 8 times x is minus 8x. Minus 8 times 1 is minus 8 equal to 10. Now, if we simplify and move 10 to the left hand side, the equation now reduces to x squared minus 7x minus 18 equal to 0. Now we have a quadratic equation. So at this point, we will use the factorization method. So we look for two integers which their sum is equal to negative 7 and their product is negative 18. The two integers are minus 9 and plus 2. So therefore, the equation becomes x squared minus 9x plus 2x minus 18 equal to 0. So we have this to become x, open your bracket, x minus 9 plus 2, open your bracket, x minus 9 equal to 0. So if we factorize, we have it that x plus 2 multiplied by x minus 9 is equal to 0. So recall that if a times b is equal to 0, a is equal to 0, or b is equal to 0. Thus, we have it that x plus 2 is equal to 0, or x minus 9 is equal to 0. So therefore, x is equal to negative 2 and x is equal to positive 9. So we have obtained the value of x to be negative 2 and 9. Thank you so much for watching.
and if you know you found the video helpful please like the video and subscribe to our channel for more math videos like this